Hello, it's Alan at Buckland Junction. No, I'm not in the loft. I'm still in Malaga. I got thrown off another beach. That's four times I've been attacked by the Spanish police. And I made a change. I'm cancelling my flight home. And I'm heading for Calais. I'm coming home. This, this, this trip has done, I think. It's played its course. It's been great so far. But just recently it hasn't been very enjoyable. A little bit homesick. So I'm just planning my route home now. It's only 2,078 kilometres. 20 hours and 30 minutes. That's 60 miles an hour, I think, or 70 miles an hour. So it's going to take me a little bit more than 19 hours. But I'm on my way home and I'm coming via Madrid. Bordeaux. I think it's... Um, yeah, Nantes, Potier Way, Rouen, and back to Calais, and I'll be home. So I've got to book a ferry now instead of an air ticket, which is a bit of a bugger. But uh, yeah, all the campers here, all the campers here, have all had a taste of it this week. They're all up in arms. Why the why the Spanish police are throwing us off? I don't know. It's it's kind of dick tack going on and. Uh, yeah, I've had enough. I'm a little bit homesick, so we should be having reports from Alan in the loft fairly soon because it's going to be bloody cold when I get home. So, um, onwards and upwards. Change of plan. So, uh, yeah, I'll be leaving Malaga tonight and making my way to Madrid. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Leave this lass working away on her caravan, on her van. It's got jigsaw, drill, wood. I've had a look in the back, it's absolutely gorgeous. Just like all things ladies do, very nice. Which is gracias. In a way it's a bit sad that I've decided to call it a quits. But um, on all good things come to an end. I really have enjoyed it. But um, uh, I woke up in Toro Molinos this morning. Busy. It's high population. The sun is just going down again. The lass is still working on her van. Yeah, sorry to leave, but in the, on, the, on the other hand, it's uh, nice to know I shall be home in a few days, or about a week, I should imagine, depending on how, how well I do. So that's Alan leaving Malaga. Alan out. What a lovely lady, excellent. Only half of me wants to go, the other half wants to stay here. I do like Spain, I do like the climate. And I've got a home to go to and a grandson that I haven't seen in ages. But here we go. It's a big place, Malaga. It really is. Bye bye, Malaga. See you next time, hopefully. I wonder when I will see the rocks of southern Spain again. Yeah, I'm a little bit, a um, little bit emotional, really, I suppose. I've come all this way. I don't want to go back, but I do. Exit ahead. Oh, exit ahead. Right. Interesting valley this. Um, it's following the course of a river. Look at that lovely mountain over there. Wow. I am going to see some uh, different landscapes on the way home. Because, um, well, I've never been down this road before. Look at this mountain. It's still lit by the rays of the sun. But it's higher than everything else. Amazing. 
over the pass there at 805 metres. That was quite a climb, but a beautiful, beautiful view to my left down through this mountain valley of a big blood red sky. And I don't know if you can see them mountains, they're still lit by the sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. On the road to Madrid. After the mountains, another tin bully. bully, bully. Not the most appealing of landscapes, uh, mountains in the distance, uh, grapevines to either side, very low on the hedgerows and stuff. Not that pretty. South of Madrid. Look how bare this landscape is. Just the odd bush here and there, and nothing for miles. Bloody awful. Getting near the outskirts of Madrid. Look at that. <laughs> it's not the prettiest of places. I have been round Madrid before, but uh, I don't know where I am. I absolutely don't know. I'm relying on the sat nav now. With a view of uh, Madrid. Right, then take the exit. Right, thank you. Reminds me of Paris and the Parafreak. Yeah, it's a real freak out, but we're getting there. I think we're nearly on the north side of the city now. Traffic's thinning out a bit. Should I say that now? After oh. 800 yards, keep left. I'll do that, darling. Get me out of here! I've had enough of this city business. Borgos, here we come. Borgos. Well, that's Madrid over with, and I can see some nasty mountains coming up again. Oh no. Off to Burgos. And I think I'm going to try and catch the Bilbao Portsmouth Ferry. I've got to see, I'll have a go on my computer this evening when I park up. My ears have just popped, so we're getting right up there now. I'm getting some, um, getting up some height here. We're catching these trucks up now. Oh, what's going on? Ooh. Still going up, gently going up. Hopefully going to get to the top in a moment. Made it. Altitude 1,400 metres. What would that be in feet? Well, I don't know, 4,000 feet up. Look at that for a view. What a lovely view. Oh, wow. That's nice. Now we're going all the way back down again. Still climbing. And I can see the vehicles way up yonder way up here that are going over the next ridge of the mountain and we're up about a thousand feet already a thousand meters sorry and it's going up and it's going up well, we've got to get to the top soon surely how steep it is i'm overtaking yes i've done it we're still going up we're still going up. The last line I see was 1,300 metres and we're still going up. Oh no. At the entrance of the tunnel it said altitude 1444. That's 1444 metres up. 1,500 metres nearly up. Wow. That was a big hill. Look at that for a lovely sky. Getting towards the north of Spain now touch of the windows, it's cold out there. Um, I'm going to need to wear my woolly hat in bed, I reckon. Um, it's an upwards. Yeah, another bully on the hill. The sky is grey, it's quite cold. I've got the heater on in the van. And I'm not, not about 15 kilometres off Borgos. I'm really running for the border now. 111 miles to the French border and we're going back into the mountains oh no, oh, no. here we go here we go oh this is the greenest 
part of Spain I've seen so far. All the trees are in autumn colours and the leaves are still on the trees for most of them. A lot different from Malaga. How about that for autumn colours? Look at the colour of those trees. Downhill, steep for seven kilometres. It is quite steep as well. better with the language. I've always found it funny, once you cross the border everything changes, the roads, the signs, the trees, the houses. I think that's quite cool. This is where I started this morning. I got a bit lost, I just followed the sat nav and we're at, uh, we're actually in France now, past the Arun border. So bye bye Spanish map. And I've just crossed the border and where am I? Yeah, I'm about here somewhere and I'm going up the National 10 up towards Bordeaux I know all this like the back of my hand so uh, things will be easier I can use my French language and uh, away I go homeward bound going northeast yeah, here I am on the border. I'll try and make Bordeaux and beyond. Oh, where's Bordeaux? There we are. Make Bordeaux. Then I might be going up the A10. I'm going to be getting into trouble because Philip and Vera live there. It's about 50 miles off route, but I've got the homesick blues, so I'm going straight the way through to Calais. And I want want to be at the uh, beer club on Friday. That's where I'm going, Duvel, Calais Duvel. Yes, yeah, so I should be going through here, 50 miles off route to Philip and Vera. I'm sorry, I won't be uh, coming to visit you this time. But there's always the future, and you can always come to Duvel. And I'll put you up, because I've got a spare bedroom there. So I'm going to cross the back of France, all the way from there, right up to Calais. I think it's about five or 600 miles, maybe a little bit more. Here we go. Morning, Wednesday morning. I'm on the old National 10. I come off the motorway, it's just too busy with trucks. And this is the old National 10. I've been down here a few times before. This is the old Roman road into Bordeaux. So let's see how we get on. Still on my way home. maybe 25 years the motorway used to come over the suspension bridge and down the west side of uh, Bordeaux and that was it now you've got this complete ring road all the way around Bordeaux I'm going around the west side hopefully I should start to recognize where I am now I'm starting to recognize some old names like Verdun I caught the ferry from there to um, La Roche. Excellent. Bordeaux Fret. Anybody remember the um, Arutius Club? 
then I'm looking for the bridge. That confounded bridge. Here it is. I think it's the same old bridge. Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. We're just going over the door doing, I think. That's the uh, river through the middle of uh, Bordeaux. whether this is the same bridge or not. Anyway, next stop, the nose. Reading all these names brings back so many memories. I must have done a thousand wine collections around Bordeaux, Madoc, Bergerac. Oh. This is the Dordoy. I must have been, oh, I've got to have a look on the map. Now this is the door door and that might be the Giron. We'll find out later. J'ai besoin de quelque chose à manger. I'm bloody hungry. I'm just going to stop for a, a sandwich. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but up there on the electric lines, they're totally covered up with, I think, which is Stalin's that are migrating. There's, there's even some even higher. They're all getting ready to go somewhere south, I hope. And they're off. Some of them are off. Look like flying bees. The whole electric cables, as far as I can see, are covered with starlings on them. Excellent. Good morning. Have a look at this sign. La Mans. La Mans. Right up in the north of um, France. Last night it was blinking cold. I woke up this morning and had to put the heater on straight away. And I gather I'm about mm, 250 miles, or maybe a bit more to Calais. So let's see how we get on. I've got a booking on the boat for 10 o'clock this evening, so I've got plenty of time. And there goes a, a car with an English number plate on, so we're all heading that way. Catch up here soon. The next exit for the racetrack. Next major town we've got to go to is Rouen. That's where I was um, six weeks ago. Oh, I wish I knew you were there. I would have come and see you. Come on, today would be nice. £65 that cost me. France is so bloody expensive. There we go. Here comes the Cali uh, Junction. Only another 100 Take the exit. something miles to go. and a lasagna meal that should get me back to the uh, Fort OK this is a French parking spot I don't know many of you already know about France and its parking spots it's got toilets places for lorries places for cars they do it so well this isn't a paid motorway either oh right let's get back on the road well it's getting late And an English truck's just overtaken me. Hey! Alright fella, nice one. See you in the dock or on the boat maybe. Yeah, the DM. That's four, I think it's four days um, from uh, Malaga to uh, Calais. Or it will be. Um, so this old truck have done about 450 miles a day, is that right? 
have to work it out, put it on the bottom of the screen. So I've got uh, 70 miles to go to LA and we're starting to go into the downs so like at home, up and down, up and down. About 30 miles to LA, we're getting very close now. Boulogne sur mer, Boulogne by the sea. Um, living in Dover, I caught the ferry with my mum and dad when I was seven. And I, I, I'm coming to France for the first time as a seven year old. Boulogne had a really big effect on me. Everything I looked at was different. The streets, the lampposts, the doors, the houses, everything made a big, a profound difference to me. Uh, I, I've always been in love with France, even as a young child. Quite sad really, these are the lights of Calais coming up. The voyage is almost over. 3,000 kilometres, I will add it up. Uh, take a photo of my speedometer. So that's the port of Calais and Cali Town. It's quite a big place. Right at the, at the uh, dock now, I was waiting to get my ticket. I didn't have the right documentation. I had to get a passenger location form. Whatever the heck that means. Something to do with Covid. It cost me another 15 quid. A whole lot is a con. Con for Convid. Covid Convid. What a joke. Anyway, we should be on our way in a minute. Well, looks like I'm back in my town. I'm back in my hometown of crappy old Dover. Shouldn't say that really, because it's not the worst town in the world. That's the trip over. All these people on the boat were all Romanians and I'm going to have to look up some of the number plates to see what they, where they're from. All the work is being done by the poorest people in Europe. It's got to stop. What can I say? The van has spent her first night on her parking spot in the garden. The garden's all overgrown. Seven weeks. 3,244 miles she's done and so it's a welcome back to the model room and a return to Allen in the loft at Buckland Junction okay that's the end of this video I'm off to the Friday club to see the boys and they don't know I'm coming ha 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 I've been sneaky they think I'm still in Spain anyway um, that's Alan at yeah, Alan at Buckland Junction. Okay, this is the final end to my travel videos. From, from here on it's all railway, model railway and railway related. So, um, yeah, that's it. 2,000, two was it? Hang on. 3,244 miles have come to an end. Alan going back in the loft. Take care, good people. Alan out. The boys don't know it yet, but I'm at the Friday Club early. It's half past two. They haven't got here yet. I'm parked in the pub car park, so they won't even know I'm here. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in and open up a tab. If you ever come to Sheb as well, this is the pub. The bell. Well, that's Al uh, editing in the van. Um, waiting for the Friday Club members. Here they are. This is one of the pictures they sent while I was away. This is not all of them, but this is the. Uh, these are the uh, yeah the main rogues of the group. So I can't wait to surprise them later. It's the end of this video. So from here on, it's all railways, railways, railways. Take care, Alan. Home, Alan. Out. Bye.